throughout the rest of the day, yes? Yeah, it definitely is. So people need to take it slow out there on those roadways. We could see uh, ponding, flooding on roadways. That's definitely a possibility throughout the rest of the evening, overnight, and even throughout the start of your Thursday for us. Something else I want to bring your attention to, though, uh, your fair forecast. We're not having a fair tonight. The Columbia County Fair canceled it for this evening, hopefully to open back up tomorrow. I think that that was the hopes. Again, we are expected to see rain at least for the first half of the day tomorrow. That really could bleed in, though, to our PM hour. So just know if you're trying to go out to the fair tonight, I mean, if you walk outside, hopefully you're thinking, eh, that's probably not a good idea. And it, if you get there, it's not going to be there. So don't go uh, tonight. But hey, it should be back up. We still have a couple more days for the fair going on um, again in Columbia. Columbia County, but this is the view we just looked at heavy rainfall all across the CSRA and that I mean it's been pretty consistent. Every camera we pull up pretty much looks the same 72. So that temperature's dropped a few degrees over the past maybe 5 10 minutes or so. We do have a flash flood watch that goes until tomorrow at 7 p.m. That's all CSRA counties and I mean this is what we are expected to see throughout the evening and even throughout the overnight hours, just some heavier rainfall, even tracking a little bit of lightning as well. So that's something uh, that cannot be ruled out either. A couple rumbles of thunder. If you hear thunder, you need to go indoors, see lightning, you need to go indoors as well. So that's what we're tracking over the next couple of hours. So here's what this looks like. Uh, future cast of what we can expect. Here's tomorrow, early, early tomorrow morning. Hopefully you're not out on the roadways this early, but if you are, just know that that heavy rainfall is going to stay pretty consistent and it should stick around through about midday and then we could see a few isolated showers after midday for us, but not looking as widespread for the second half of the day tomorrow. So that's definitely uh, some good news there. Rainfall totals anywhere from three to four. Some spots could see four plus inches tomorrow. So something uh, that are throughout the evening and into tomorrow. And so that's why we have that first alert issued for that flood risk for us. And we're getting some moisture from Hurricane Rafael. This is a category three storm now uh, impacting Cuba as we speak. Really, I think it's already made landfall, if not uh, already passing uh, Cuba. So it did make landfall earlier today. Expected to move into the Gulf of Mexico over the next 24 hours or so and expected to weaken and looks as of right now, the path keeps turning it westward. And so it looks like it will impact the country, Mexico. Um, so things are looking again a little bit better for us here in the United States. Still going to be a rainmaker for us, though, so we can expect to see that rain uh, kind of stick around. An isolated shower or two Friday. Looks like our weekend, Saturday at least, should be pretty good for us, but rain chances come back into play for the start of next week. All right.